What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are back with Unicorn Overlord. So sorry about taking yesterday off. I, I said this in the last Metaphor Refantasio video I did. Uh, I'm on a new medication, so I'm still in the adjusting phase. Forgive me. So essentially, I was... What, half asleep or just <laughs> knocked out on my ass yesterday. So, my apologies. Today is a similar issue. I will try and get two videos up. I do have some, uh, some stuff I do need to do tonight because again I didn't get a lot of work done yesterday and I still have a group project for one of my classes due this week I've got um, a project that um, my cybersecurity club is working on that I can't really talk about and before anybody goes oh how come you can't talk about it like, I'm, I'm talking NDA I can't talk about it so um, but yeah, I've got to get some work done for that tonight. So I, I promise you, I'm not, uh, I'm not ignoring you guys. You know, I'm, I'm not leaving you at the, I'm not driving you to the mall and forgetting you. I'm, I'm just, I've, I've got a bit on my plate right now. Once I get through this week and midterms are over, things should get a little, little lighter. God damn it, I got a notification for some video on, you You know, like a recommended video on YouTube. And it's, uh, it just, everyone has been using the image of that Canari for, uh, Dragon Age the Veil Guard. I, I haven't gotten to the character, I don't know, I don't want to talk about the character until I really know about the character, until I really see what they're about. They look ridiculous. Like, their no, face looks so oh, gaunt no. and weird. I just, oh, my God. I, I I saw somebody post a clip yesterday of Dragon Age 2. Never stood a chance. Getting this, you know, the the scene in the... Uh, in the uh, it, it was like the big... Um, Any last words? The big I'm ending moment of kind of like Act 2 of the game where you fight the Canari... I'm not going to say throne room, but in the, the uh, I can't remember the exact location of the fight. But where you fight the kind of Canari boss and get, you listen to them, you know, this warring tribe and, you know, talking about strength and it's, you know, you we need to fight and all, it's all this just really cool shit. And now looking at the new Canari, I'm like, God, they just, they don't even look the same. It's, ugh, it's awful. Bring back Iron Bull. Thank you. 
you want. Best get moving. Well, that was quick. I have this one. On to the next. Your orders, please. As you command. Pray to whatever God will save you. Never should have crossed me. What should I do? Right away. I'm ready to fight. Defeated. Your orders, please, as you command. We've secured it. What should I do? Great, I spilled on myself. And you're just trying to drink a Pepsi, and I can't even figure that out. I'm a, I'm a fucking failure. There's really just not a whole lot to say about this battle. I, we're just kind of doing, uh, just conquering a little bit of a uh, little bit of territory from the Zenoirans. This is also actually a fairly easy ahead. fight compared to that Railnor battle. To the skies. Nowhere is too far. Next videos is a really cool mission. This. Fading. Sir. You're nothing. Dead and buried. And now that they're beat, we now march on Be done before you know it. The uh what should I do? The main Sir. boss people. I think I'm gonna sacrifice one of these units. Yeah. I'm worried about this. Let me help. 
you know, let me let me take a moment here to actually say something about the game instead of just sitting here bullshitting, and you know, then I'll go back to talking about anime in a in a moment. But there is something that I, I find kind of interesting with this game compared to a lot of tactics games because this game. As far as I know, it does not have a permadeath in any way, shape, or form. I mean, you can't turn it on or whatever. Usually with these kind of games, you find a permadeath. My opinion on that was originally, eh, okay, it was just a decision on the game or whatever. You know, okay, fine, they don't want to, didn't want to put a permadeath in. The more I have played... The more I have thought about it, the decision not to add permadeath to this game, I think was was not only the correct choice, I think actually a very good choice. And, and, and let me explain why I think that. I think the decision not to add permadeath actually makes this game far more strategic. It makes it more chess-like, where you can sacrifice a unit any last words and I have to you know obviously you know you don't have to worry about your characters dying but you, you can play it more like okay kind of like what I just did I'm like okay I need to get some damage on this unit to chunk away at their health so I can bring in a second unit okay so now it, it gives you a little bit more open tactics if that makes sense so you don't have to play I don't want to say you don't have to play optimally but it, I'm trying to think how, how to phrase this because it, I, because in a, one way it makes it sound like, oh, so you're just saying it's okay. You suck and can just not be strategic and just throw your allies at a meat grinder. No, that's not what I'm trying to say, but it's what it sounds like. But yeah, it, it, essentially it's, it, it allows again, you to make those decisions of, okay, I can sacrifice a unit or I can do this to be able to get the get the final kill instead of having to worry oh, okay well I'm gonna lose the unit forever so I have to do you know I have to play extremely passively or whatever so you can get a little more aggressive you you can play around with your strategy a little bit more than something like a fire emblem would allow you to do um I, I, I really like that. I, I, I think it's a good a good system. So coming up, we're going to be jumping around a little bit um, just because we... Uh, the, 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 the words are hard. I'm going to go buy something at the black market and rank up some characters. So things are going to be a little on the... Uh, thing, thing, we're going to be jumping around, making some cuts here. So, you know, I... I I'm sorry if it hurts your eyes. You know, the shield shooter is a class I do not use enough. It is a really good defensive range class. 
Like, I, I, you can even put them on the front line, and they'll actually guard and defend themselves a little bit. I mean, they. I, I think... I'm trying to remember their equipment. I want to say they have a great shield on their back, you know, so they, they're actually pretty bulky for a ranged unit. I'm not saying you want to put them on the front line, but you can. I cut out me uh, doing all the uh, the equipping. Yeah, the town's empty for a reason, and it's really kind of messed up. Vile desecration. I wanted to say something, I can't remember what it was. I think I think it, I think it was something about me being depressed because I was watching eight six eight six or eighty six eighty six. I think that's the name of it. If anyone knows the name of that, if anybody knows that anime, it's super depressing. This is a really good anime. If anybody's question is, well, AJ, I'm I'm kind of interested in anime. I'm I'm like you. I'm a giant nerd. What's uh what's the what, what's it about? Well, uh friend, it is about a city who is in a war against a nation that has essentially fallen to their own uh autonomous drone army. So, you know, they're essentially fighting a war against a country that no longer exists because their drones are still trying to, you know, fight them. So they live in a walled city, um, and they're fighting with their own autonomous, you know, drones, essentially. Well, the twist is the drones aren't really drones. They are weird spider mechs controlled by... They're weird spider mechs controlled by the, as they're called, the 86. There's, uh, within the city, there's 85 residential districts. Uh, and the 86th district are the people who live outside the wall. So they are treated as, you know, not humans. That way they can propagandize their civilians and saying, oh, well, we have fought this war and there's been no civilian, er, there's been no casualties, even though there really has been casualties because, you know, the it's their... You know, there really has been casualties because the... Eight, the 86 are getting killed inside their uh, their little mech suits. So it's a whole so it's a whole thing. Uh, they can you know this uh, we follow this unit on the front line that's teamed up with a uh, member of the they're called I believe the Alda Alba something like that. So essentially, uh, they're teamed up with this new oper this new uh, operator who's kind of giving them orders and whatnot, and she actually takes her job seriously and begins to bond with and actually care about them as they're dying. You know, you, you have this unit that starts with a whole bunch of characters. By the end of, like, episode, I think, what, I just saw, like, episode 11, 10 or something, there's, like, five of them left. 
So, you know, they're just dropping like flies throughout the episodes and it's really fucked up and... You know, you learn more about what the drones are really trying to do. You learn more about how, you know, what this unit that they're a part of is actually supposed to be doing. It's it, it's a really dark and depressing anime. It's good. I heavily suggest it. <laughs> Well, I, I started watching it because I because I, I watched um, another it, because I was watching another series called the um, what is it? It, it, the saga of Tanya the terrible or Tanya the evil I think that's what it is um, essentially uh, a uh, Japanese salary man is uh, you know, a bit, a bit of a psycho. Not, not a psycho. I wouldn't say that. That's not. That's not the right phrase. He is a. Um, what? How? How to? How to describe him? He, sociopath. You know, he's like there are rules. We follow the rules. You know, this is what I have to do to climb the corporate ladder. And if it's just by firing people, eh, I'll do it. You know, doesn't give a shit about other people. And all this, so he fires a guy, the guy kills him, and, you know, God essentially freezes time to talk with him, and he doesn't believe it's God, because he doesn't believe in God, and he says, fuck you, the, you're, you're not real, and all this, so, apparently this God sends him to an another world. Yes, I know, we, we get Isekai, but it's really kind of... It, it's Isekai, but it doesn't feel like an Isekai. Because it's not... Well, they do get super kind of like god powers, but they're essentially fighting against the god that put them there because the god that put them there is kind of punishing them. It's it's weird. But um, essentially, they're put into another world that's like World War II, but with, uh, with magic. And if you want to say, well, AJ, that kind of sounds like Valkyria Chronicles. No, because the side that he's on are, is essentially the Germans. So, you know, they're fighting with guns and rifles and everything, but they're using them to cast, like, artillery magic and shit like that. It's 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 really kind of cool. And, you know, you, you just... You see this character who has now become a... Like, a small child. Like, a little girl. But she joins the military, and she's just doing all these fucked up things. It's really funny. I heavily suggest it if you have a Crunchyroll account. Look up the Saga of Tanya the Evil. It's really good. My steed is like, it, it's way. really well written. It's really well animated. A lot of the, the gunfights are amazing. Well, the story is really good too, and, and everything. Like I think I think one of my uh, it was the ending of the first episode. There were a uh, a couple members of the character's unit that didn't follow orders you know they kind of moved out of position and when she chewed them out you know somebody's like you can't you know kill them They're like oh, fine whatever so she uh she sends them to like the back line and they're hanging out in a pillbox that ends up getting uh that ends up getting what's the word uh getting mortared i may be out and um, Tanya's, you know, like second in command, goes up to her and he's like, I, "Can you believe these, you know, these, uh, you know, uh, these people? They were killed." And Tanya's like, "Well, yep, yeah, it's, it's, uh, well, of course they were. They were in a pillbox. So it's a stationary target, you know. So of How course the I enemy's assist? gonna, you know, is susceptible to mortar fire." And she's once. like, "Did you put them there knowing that they'd get killed?" And it just puts up, like, the super evil anime grin. And you're like, holy shit, this, like, eight-year-old is awesome. It's a really fucked up moment. It's really good. Your worst. Heavily suggest. Sadly, there is no, there hasn't been a season two, even though there should be a season two. I think, I think this, from what, from what I was reading, season two got confirmed that it is being worked on. But it got... Season 2 got announced and was being worked on pre-COVID. Um, you know, it, it was being worked on and everything pre-COVID. 
And this isn't gonna end well. Yeah. Sorry, Elaine. Sorry, if you haven't noticed in this battle, yeah, I'm just kinda getting I'm just getting my shit stomped in. But yeah, the uh, the anime was supposed to get a second season. Yeah, it was being worked on before COVID. COVID hit. Everything got delayed, and so yeah, a lot of people are wondering if, if there's going to still be a second season of uh, of the anime. I hope so. It was really good. I want to see where it goes. There you go. That concludes today's segment of AJ Talks About Anime for way longer than he should or than anybody asked. You'll never win. I did it. I won't lose. Time yet to claim victory. You'll never win. Eh, well, I, 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 at least taking this defensive position is. So, no, nope, that gets this. us killed. I was like, yeah, you know what? We're actually doing well defending ourselves, and we die. <laughs> Solutions. I see you don't value your life. This power weighs heavy. I stake my honor on this battle. Be gone from my sight until my dying breath. I advance. I wield this lance for the people of Cornea until my dying breath. Lads, for the people of by your royal word. Onward. I shall see it done. Your decree made manifest. Come then.
fine bout. I wield this lance for the people of Corny. Path is set. Now then. The time is at hand. To me. I see you don't value your life. I seize this victory as my own. My magic, simply say the word. It'll be done. I shall see it done by your royal. God damn, people! Ch I, I, I say it all the I say it all the freaking time. People choose right as I start working on something to text me. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why. No, use the ballista, shoot the, the, um, I'm sitting here pointing and I, you can't see it. I'm losing my mind. Shoot at the, uh, at the, at the, um, the city. The, yeah. That sentence made sense. Maybe next time they'll actually try. Your villainy ends here. The pride of House Maye. We march. To me. Uh. You face me. Well, somehow we won. this question to anybody out there like me who likes who who's really enjoyed this game what do you guys think about the fact that going into the animated like battle scenes you know exactly how much damage you're gonna do how you're gonna win etc etc instead of it's like this is how much damage you'll do if everyone hits and then it's you know, then you go into the fight and see if you actually do all the damage. Similar to, like, a Fire Emblem, you know, because you still have enemies who can dodge and everything like that. I don't know. I... I, I think for the way this game does its combat, this is the proper... Because of how this game's combat works, and how, you know the the kind of the idea for for what they're doing, I think this is the proper, not proper. That's not the right word. I think this is a. I I, I think I think this system works very well for the game. Because I, I, yeah, I, do, I don't think the Fire Emblem system is saying, this is how much damage your attacks will do. Now let's see if you actually hit them, and then you run the RNG for the dodge and everything. Yeah, I don't think, I, I don't think it would work for this game. I, I think that's particularly because it is a more quote-unquote real time I, you know this game is 
it, it rides that line between a turn-based tactics game and a real-time because it's like real-time with pause, but it's... Even then, I wouldn't even call this game full-on real-time with pause. I think it's a little different. But just because, you you know, you have to move the unit... The way you move units around and everything in this game, it's just a little different from a normal turn-based tactics kind of deal. I, yeah, I, I just... I think the Fire em the way of the way Fire Emblem does stuff like that, just, it wouldn't work as well with this game. Again, in my, this is totally in my opinion. I have this one. show you what a witch can do simply say the word yeah I, I I would rather keep them back defend the home front send out another unit where's my prey about time on it allow me enemy unit defeated Wherever you'd like me. Sir, consider it ours. No holding back. Did I finish that sentence? Holy hell. I had a moment there where I just... My my thought process just totally went away from me. Wait. <laughs> I, I, I ended up thinking about cookies. I, I, I'm serious. Like, it was like this, this, this. You know, I went through like five different topics of thought in about 30 seconds. Um, no, I'd rather keep my mages back, keep them healthy, and defend the home front. So that way, if, uh, you know, I need to bring in, you know, bring their unit down. Kind of like what I'm about to do here, because I had that unit hidden in the, in the trees. I've got a healthy unit in the back to... Kind of help do. us out. Well, or, you know, do this and send out another unit. Oh. Ah. 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 
escaping across though. You have my aid. Too weak. Pure strength's not everything. Bullseye! If I have to. Yep. Made it. It's ours now. I'll show you what a witch can do. Simply okay, so we got the... Again, my, my thought process escaped me. I was trying to think of what what comes next. So I'm looking at like, what am I doing here? Uh, so we've got the two watchtowers. Now it's just... Uh, sorry, stretching. Now it's just a moment of really trying to figure out a way to kind of push through the center. can do your orders please nobody's dying here you got it it's now escaping yeah across, looking though. at it probably shouldn't have gone in to attack the the main group well, I guess this will keep them from sending reinforcements, so... Uh, but yeah, whatever I was thinking, uh, we need to take out the healer behind them. Also, dealing with the shaman, sorry. God, these things, these characters are a pain in the ass. But it, but they always seem like more of a problem when the enemy use the, uses them than when I use them. Because when I use them, eh, okay, we we you know the enemy loses some damage. It's fine, whatever. But when but when the enemy uses them, my characters can't do shit. Yeah, that's the right move. I, I, I gotta take the healers out before I make my way on to the main force there. One thrust of the lance is all I need. Gotta keep getting stronger. Really say the word. 
How can I assist? I ride at once. Prepare to be run through. I got you. You know, I'm almost thinking if you have a shaman as your lead unit for a, um, as as your lead character for a unit, they should almost provide an assist similar to the healers or the magic or ranged support, where they actually just kind of give you a, just a general debuff before the fight. I don't know. I think that would be interesting. One damage. I don't have time to sit around, but I'm prepared for anything. Consider it done. How can I assist? Say the word. My steed is swifter than Nobody's the wind. Nobody's dying here. Simply say the word. I'm on my way. What are we doing? I'm going. Do your worst. Better run while you... One thrust of the lance is all I need. Do your worst. Bonk, bonk, go down. Never in doubt. <laughs> I can't fail my sacred mission. May fortune bring what you seek among my quality wares. I gotta say, that first aid kit is pretty dope. Now I'm sitting here thinking, oh, do I want to get rid of that? That um, plus one AP. Greetings, human. Let me know what strikes your fancy. A pleasure. May this. I don't know why I have 
just like a like a physical aversion to using the deliver all button. Guys, looking at the timeline on the video and looking at what I'm doing here, it uh, looks like we're just going to be messing around with the uh, the tactics menus. Guys, I want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Social media down in the description below. Like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. But until then, I'm out.